1971, Billie Jean King became the first woman athlete to earn over $100,000 in prize money. Yet, when she won the US Open in 1972, she received $15,000 less prize money than the mayor winner. Even though tickets were selling just as fast and for just as much as both matches. She took action, and she became a leader for all female tennis players at the time. She led a group of nine women who decided to boycott US tennis and create their own Grand Slam to protest the inequality in pay. These women believed in her and took a massive risk in their career to follow. During their tournament, Bobby Riggs continuously repeated to the world that female tennis players were just not as good as the men and they shouldn't be paid as much. They are far better being in the kitchen and in the bed. He put out a message that any female tennis player that wanted to take him on, he would beat them easily. Billy knew that the only way to shut him up and prove to the world that females were just as good as males was to take him on in the court. She knew this was a big risk, as if she lost, that, that would be it. That would be it for her dream of achieving equality. However, she went ahead, and she beat him in three straight sets. As a result of her advocacy, the US Open became the first major tournament to offer equal prize money to both sexes. The traits that Billy withheld were true form to being a leader. It was these traits that helped her to have such a big following fan base and that helped her get her dream across. Billie Jean was a transformational leader. She inspired and motivated followers to be committed to a cause. People wanted to listen to her and they wanted to see what she could do for them. Even today, Billie Jean King continues to be a leader. She even helped set up the Billie Jean King Leadership Initiative, which was founded as part of an effort to challenge the way differences are seen and encourage companies, corporations and individuals to embrace those with diverse personalities and lifestyles for the positive and unique contributions they bring to the workforce.